issue here is when someone plays, you know, like a video on, on YouTube, before you get to the content, you, you have to watch an ad. You get that, you know, bug that comes up, so you got to wait 15 seconds or something. And companies like AT&T, uh, Verizon, Johnson & Johnson, these big companies, they've just found out that their ads are being played before some pretty offensive content, and they want it to stop. Right, so what's happening is they not only found out they're playing right on top of the video, but sometimes there are other ads that are running. So what companies are saying is we're pulling not just out of Google, uh, YouTube, but that, those ads could appear in a whole bunch of other related sites that work with Google. So it's actually a significant impact. And I will tell you, there is a positive in this that is going to change the course of how advertisers work with platforms and also affect what kind of content that may be Mm. available on sites mm. like these. I mean, at the heart of this, isn't it the case that basically technology has outstripped the pace of advertising's checks and balances? Well, it's the same thing that happened when television was there and all of a sudden the internet showed up and nobody knew how to deal yeah. with all of this. So now what you see is even more faster pace with the number of videos being uploaded per hour and things like that. So what's actually happening is advertisers are saying, wait a minute, these are giants that we're advertising on, but so are we. So maybe there's a balance to be struck on what kinds of ads appear on what kinds of content or next to what kinds of content. Mm -hmm. So there's a dialogue that's absolutely been started all based on the revenue potential that both companies want, which means there's actually a shared interest here, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, there, is, there, is a, there are millions, of, tens, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue at stake here. Um, and when you look at the amount of content, when 400 hours of content uploaded to YouTube, uh, I thought it was every hour, you thought it was every minute, but regardless, it's a lot. Uh, explains why this is so hard to actually try and do anything about. We heard from uh, Eric Smith, the boss of Google. He said he won't make any guarantees, at least not now, that they can fix this. That's pretty telling. Well, it, it's a balance between how much can technology identify what is the content inside a video. So, for example, is it hate speech? Is it a discussion about hate? It, and so those are the kinds of things algorithms are currently inside of Google, created by Google engineers are looking for this is acceptable or not acceptable under their terms of use mm. but what is the human mind really thinking when it's making a statement that's the challenge uh, all algorithms always have and so that's why the, the uh, CEO is of Google is saying you know what I'll try my best I'll oh my put God, my best guarantee. engineers on update my algorithms but I can't guarantee it because you never know what somebody's really thinking and it's hard to determine that. Speaking of challenges, this is what one analyst said about efforts to fix this problem. Google must walk a fine line between giving advertisers more control and alienating the massive community of content creators who've made the site a top destination for coveted young viewers. Is that right? Is that the challenge here? That's absolutely right. The, uh, the, the very purpose of a platform is to say, hey, bring your user-generated content, here's your platform, put what you want on it, and then that generates more eyeballs, more viewers, longer time on the site, which is actually what advertisers want. They want people to be on the site longer so they see their brand flashed in front of them. So there's a, there's a very delicate balance, not only for Google, but also for advertisers, because the more you push Google to say, fix these ads, fix or fix this content, mm -hmm. the less usership happens, the less people see their own brands, which means that both sides actually get affected on their revenue stream.